Well, in a letter to the county, the Department of Health and Human Services actually expressed interest in a property along East Land Street in Orlando. In the letter, they say they're looking for a place to house about 500 unaccompanied migrant children. Some GOP representatives in the area I spoke to aren't opposed to the idea, saying more shelters are needed. I'd like to see the shelters built in the home countries where these children are coming from these children are coming from and try to stop the illegal immigration from occurring but in for the children that we have detained and we have here already we need to make sure that they're in a safe location and we need to make sure that it's a, a location that uh, facilitates all the children's needs in the meantime this comes after the federal government released this map outlining an area they could possibly create a new permanent shelter. Orlando Representative Carlos Guillermo Smith says he doesn't want to see a new shelter open in Orlando or anywhere in the United States for that matter. These kids need to be either reunited with their parents or they need to be resettled through a refugee resettlement program with foster parents uh, or another uh, home that they can not necessarily need to be in a shelter. Tomorrow, local leaders are gathering in Orlando, hosting a press conference in opposition to a new shelter. We'll bring you those developments as we get them. For now, I'm live in Orlando, Samantha Sosa, Fox 35 News.